All right, guys, so we're at that weird part again where we're in limbo with like literally every single bill going on here. Uh, Jay-Z needs a clutch. Once we get the clutch, goes in the S13. E36, a lot of you guys have been asking about it, and literally all it needs is paint. Once the engine bay is painted, well, it won't need Bondo, then primer, then paint, whatever. So once this is painted, we have our <laughs> turbo drivetrain that's literally gonna drop in it. The exhaust is made, everything's made, and we have a lot of work ahead of us once it's painted. But here's the issue. Um, we can't paint in this facility. Landlord's very strict about that. And then Brian's shop is kind of a cluster <laughs> and really packed, so we can't just bring it there and paint it. So I've been trying to find a paint booth locally that won't break the bank, and it's been, it's been a process. So trust me, it's been stressing me out. I want it painted more than anyone in this world, but we'll get that done hopefully very shortly. And of course, Nasanda. Good old Nasanda. So what I want to get done is I want to get the engine bay done. And of course, we found out that my KA is a complete pile of shit. It's an SR. <laughs> what? It's acting like an SR. No S. <laughs> Why do I have to bring this kid around? Uh, this one's toast, so we have to get a new engine, but unfortunately I'm not getting a new engine until tomorrow. But that's exciting because that's tomorrow and I'll have a new engine, which means I can get to work. Yes. But I stayed busy yesterday. I should have filmed it, but I was just kind of in one of those modes. I just want to get stuff done. I actually fully plated and capped the frame rails in the front of the car. Check this out. Oh yeah, look at it. I just kind of chopped a small angle into both of the rails and I capped it and I plated it up so it's fully sealed and I think it looks amazing. I am super, super happy with that. I think it really tied the whole front end together. What do you think, RJ? It definitely looks much cleaner now. Thanks, kid. I want to keep momentum up with just everything because it's winter time and I'm just trying to get as much work done as possible before the season started. I figured we should show some love to a car that a lot of you guys might not even know I own. There was once a time. Uh-huh. Not too long ago, okay. that Jimmy bought a GTI. And there was a time before that <laughs> where Jimmy was very hardcore into the V-dub scene. Okay, so <laughs> you guys might remember last year I actually bought a Mark 6 GTI as a daily and we basically fully uh, refreshed the engine, did a full top end on it. It was a really awesome time. And I had a beautiful daily driver that I loved. Which lasted two weeks. And then my transmission kind of shit the bed. So it's been sitting ever since. It's been one of those things where it's kind of been out of sight, out of mind, and I've been meaning to fix it. You've just been busy, man. Dude. I'm not holding this against you. You can look what it's got going on over here. We got a lot of projects. You're, you're taking a lot of projects on at once and, and you're, you're doing good work, but Thanks, you know man. what? You're in the in-between section right now. <laughs> That's going to be next. Might as well get it down here. Today's right? the okay. perfect day to go get it. There we go. So I figured uh, we might as well go get the GTI, uh, go through it, get it here so we have it in sight in mind. One more thing you can make a list for of parts that you're going to have to order and wait on. Yeah, it's, dude, I'm not trying to overdo myself, but I'm trying to keep my options open because I need a lot of stuff to get done. So I'm going to shut up and let's go pick this thing up. Show it off a little bit. Woo, let's go. It's like 15 degrees out. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I should probably get my jump pack, huh? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be dead. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be dead. Let's do that. Shout out to Conse for making such good looking wheels. My car was such a grandma mobile before and now it actually looks cool. I actually like it for once. So this car does run. Well, it should run. Um, but the tranny goes into lit mode after like 10 minutes. And uh, last time I tried to start it, it had a massive coolant leak, and that was like five months ago. So we're just gonna trailer down to the shop. It's just easier. It's not worth it. So you can't see your skills. Not bad, Ooh, eh? Wow, a wow. trombone on wheels. All right, what's the? Do you want to put money on it? On um, what's the bet? That the battery's dead or not? Oh, the battery is definitely dead. I bet you lunch. Lunch? Mm hmm. All right. Ramen, right? Yeah, ramen. Yeah, yeah, of course. Here we go, guys. The long lost daily driver. Wow. Oh, look how pretty this thing is. It was such a nice car. It's a I nice car. Have. It's going to be again. Oh, my God. Look at all that condensation on the inside. It's been so long that this doesn't even like feel like I own this anymore. It still smells like black ice. No, it still it smells like a car that's been sitting for eight months. All right, RJ. Let's see who's buying lunch. No, <laughs> no, no way! No <laughs> way! Oh. It's still, oh, it smells bad in here. Oh, whatever, I'm excited that we're going to get ramen. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe it just started. I am shook. Well, there's a lot of moisture in here, which is not good. Yeah, look at it. I could smell it. Oh, your windshield is cracked, though. 
It's was it always? Us. It always, yeah, it it always was cracked. You bought huh? it like that. Yeah. So, shows how much I know. <laughs> oh my god. This is a really this, this is a big surprise. This is a nice car. Dude, I forgot I own this thing. Okay, if you guys know me, I've always had really shitty daily drivers. Oh, you good? <laughs> I've always had really shitty j daily drivers just because. Mostly Saturns, too. Yeah, because they're real, they're man. cheap. They're really cheap. But it's one of those things that like every time I got a little bit of money, I wanted to put it into my project car. Like you guys know how like I know a lot of guys know how it is. And so I was like, okay, like I'll drive a shitty car from A to B so I can have a gangster car on the weekend. And um, this was like my first nice daily driver. And so when it broke, I was like, oh, well, that's typical. <laughs> you know? So um, I miss it. But you couldn't just buy another one. This one you want to fix. Well, yeah, because it, it, I mean, we already did a big portion of the car, so. You also got the car for a really good price. So I got this car for a really good deal. It's a beautiful car. It's a 2010 GTI, it has 110K miles on it, but I bought it when it, but I bought it because it skipped timing and bent all the uh, intake valves as they do. So uh, my buddy Alex down at Innovative Motorsports, if you guys know in Connecticut, they are the go-to shop for Audis, Volkswagen, and Porsche. Uh, my buddy Alex came down and he helped me basically rebuild the whole top end of this motor. We did new everything. So the motor is so happy and healthy and ready to go. But of course, the mechatronics and the DSC trans just had to fail on me. So um, I just gotta suck it up, buy a new one, put it in, and I'll have a nice daily driver again. This thing needs a, you know what? This thing needs a downpipe, it needs a tune. Like, why not, right? It's yeah, you need to have nice a sick dam. Yo, all the calipers are like seized. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed that it started. I was getting really nervous to have to move that. Okay, wow. we need. Looks like I need new brakes too, but. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> this poor car! Okay, well, no, it's the so calipers nice. aren't stuck. It's just the, Look at the new, rotors! They need new pads and rotors. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 this one popped out! What did? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the pad popped out of the no caliper. <laughs> I swear to God. The, the, the right pad here? popped out. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Well, the e-brake works. Screw you. <laughs> I'm dying so over here. So I'm dying nice. over here. It's living up to the reputation of the brand. The potential is limitless. Yo, this thing's got a full tank. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have a truck that's ever. I never have a full tank. Never. Oh my god. Every time you fill up one of your cars all the way, something catastrophic happens. That's why I don't fill them up. <laughs> my my Jetta, right? Yeah. Just filled it up. Instantly totaled. Last time I ever filled a car up. It happened with a Saturn too when you shot a rod. Yeah. <laughs> just look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to find some light here. There's no I... way it popped out. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my poor. How did it break? It... Hey, hey, go fix that up. Yeah, not litter. Yeah. yeah. She deserves it. It does. It definitely does. There's a new windshield. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish I could say we're gonna start working on it today, but it's not the case. So I gotta address the issue first. All right, so there isn't too much to say about this car today. Um, I just kind of wanted to introduce it and sh show you guys that I still have it because I know a lot of guys have asked about it quite a bit over the last couple months. So here she is. I'm really excited to get it working. Trust me. I know you guys yell at me all the time for fixing things and. <laughs> Trust me, I want them to be fixed more than anyone else, but it's all about priorities. So, um, really, uh, I need to get brakes for the thing, front and rear. It's kind of obvious, as we saw it through a pad in a driveway. <laughs> um, that's not bad. Uh, we also need new tires because it sat on these tires for a really long time, even before I got the car, so they're pretty flat spotted. That, and then of course, the big issue right now is the mechatronics unit. The coolant leak, I think, is just the coolant bubble. They tend to crack and fail over time. I think that's what happened, so that's not a big deal. But the mechatronics, which is the whole valve body and everything that controls everything in the DSG, is shot and uh, they're kind of expensive, at least what I saw. So if anyone knows a company that refurbs them or maybe a place to get it cheaper than like $1,400, let me know because I really want to drive the thing, so. And it will be easier to fix it with a lift. Yeah, and now that I've, honestly, that was like my biggest hurdle was just waiting to get a lift so I could do it because I'm not doing this on the ground. So <sighs> there it goes, guys. Here's my forgotten daily driver that is no longer forgotten about because now I have to see it every single day. <laughs> but, uh, Let's go check out some stuff in the shop. Since we don't really have any fun stuff going on today, I figured it'd be a good time to dibble in some sub mail because we got a little pile going on here and honestly, I'm really eager to open it. So, uh, I already know what this one is. Pa! Is there a note in there? Yes, 
Okay, a Missouri plate. Missouri. This is the first time I'm ever. In the state of this Missouri. is the. That was a good one. <laughs> show me state? What does that mean? I ain't showing you anything. If you guys remember, I asked a bunch of people to send us plates because we're gonna line the top of the office with them. We've got a, a stack going. I want a couple more before we actually start laying them out. So guys, if you have an extra license plate, send it to the PO box. It, uh, address is in the description because we're gonna line them up with all subscriber plates. I think Put we're pretty good. Put a note on the back. Yeah. This is a note. Yeah, make sure. Actually, I'd love for you guys to sign the back of the license plate too. That'd be really cool. But. Yeah, that grab a sharpie sign it. It's a good idea. All right, here. The kitty cat. <laughs> okay. I love this. What is happening here? Oh my god. That is a lot of car. First off, look at this thing. The hell? Oh like, this is like Buzzazoku meets murderous vehicle. Yeah, it's like Buzzazoku Mad Max right there. Oh my god. A long time viewer since the LSZX days. That sounds weird sending it, sending it. LSZX. Blah, blah, blah. He, he literally writes blah, blah. I'm not being rude. Um, anyways, here is my old play off of my 93 Audi 90 Quattro pitcher attached that I built in the spirit of Mad Max. Who said it? Nice. Uh, really, like honestly, like I know a lot of guys might knock on this, but he, he probably learned so much from this experience and had a great time doing it, so I'm never gonna knock on that. Fruit B Rally Racing. Interested fact that the plate came off at the same car that gave its grill to Brian Scotto for his Audi Coupe Quattro. That's cool. Hey, me and me and Scotto both got a piece of that car. That's pretty cool. Uh, there is a treat included. Uh, my suggestion is that the loser of rock paper scissors between the reader of this and the camera operator should um, be the one to eat and unwrap it. Enjoy. Oh KM Butcher. P.S. Watch Bellflower. What's that? Uh, is that dirty? I'm gonna guess it's an anime. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I know what this is. Right off the rip, you could tell it's kind of shaped like a cough. Are we just doing one or is it two out of three? Oh, oh it's versus you two. Oh no. 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 This is not you know happening. What? I, I mean, I'll take your spot. All right. You would. You would do this. What is it? You guys know what this is? No. You guys don't know what this is? I'm scared. This is the one chip challenge. No. Uh, no. No. I, no. 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 Thank you. That is not happening. You'll never see me do. Okay. Every time we do stuff, man, we have our buddy Mike, and he always eats the hot stuff, and he's kind of freaks me out because he never, never is faced by anything spicy. When he comes here, we're gonna make him eat that. Yeah. He's already ate one though. No, 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 no not no. the Reaper. But he hasn't done this, and nothing's uh, phased him yet. And we said him. send him something that hurts him, and this will hurt this, him. I, this will. Hurt, I hope this hurts Mike. If you're watching, I'm gonna. We're gonna all see you cry. We want. Of... We want you to shed a tear. I'll save this. Thank you, homeboy. All right. So this is cool. So remember, guys. Send your plates, sign the back, and we're gonna line them up. We're getting close. We have we have a good pile so far. So, what in the hell is that? Oh, is this one of those like? Um... Brian was doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's so funny. Okay. Oh yes, I keep one of these in the trunk of my car. Hey Jimmy, figure you guys might have some kinks in your back. You'd like to work out after all that hard work. Thanks for the great videos. These Eli. These are magical. Is it? It looks I love painful. these things. Do it. Do it. Like what? Dude, it. Oh, I got a good one out of it. That looks disturbing coming from you. Yeah, but it feels so good. <laughs> That's all you do. <laughs> there we go. It's a long note. Hey, Jimmy and gang. This license plate is off of my old 2002 BMW 325i yes. E46, if nobody knew, because I definitely wouldn't. <laughs> it is a little rough because Minnesota likes to salt in the winter. Boy. I found the pineapple at Target and thought of y'all immediately. Also, some high chews. Enjoy. Oh, those are so good. Enjoy. Christian Hauser. Insta OK underscore Chris. Snap. That's dangerous. Chow161. Oh, um, one. Oh, we put a Snapchat. Yeah. Oh, guys, have fun with that one. P.S. I did not make you, the stickers. You asked, you asked for this. Yeah, you had. Boy, that's a very dangerous move. Let him know. <laughs> P.S.S. Keep up the awesome high quality content, man. Even if you think it will be boring, I bet your audience won't. Oh, that kind of goes with there? today's video. <laughs> now you know. You gotta send him a Snapchat I'm real about quick. to send him one right now. Are you gonna do it? C-H-A-U. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming, buddy, here we go. <laughs> I mean, whoa, that's weird. The non-stamp plates always yeah. freak me out. Like this looks, like that looks so fake. 10,000 lakes. I didn't know that you could buy these. These are what they top on a ramen that you won't eat. That's interesting. Those are good. I like, like those. Who just eats this to the face? I would. Meat one. Okay. Talk. You about it. Talk about it. What? That's so much seaweed. They're just super salty. Yeah. It's kind of 
kind of weird. Yeah, we'll start. Right, I'll eat one. Come on. I'm not All right, did you do that half of mine? I ain't a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, big <laughs> It's like a. Uh, it, it tastes. Like, it tastes. No, a lot it tastes like. Uh, it tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like someone put a saltine and dropped it in a dead fish and then pulled it out. Uh, Just in case anybody was wondering who's watching this, I am allergic to seafood. No, no, nobody cares. <laughs> I love the high chews though. They're so yeah, good. That's a good. That's a good redemption. Here, hold on. That's, that's good what redemption. do we got for stickers? Uh, I appreciate the weeb stickers. We love good weeb stickers. We love it. And then of course, dude. The pineapple. The pineapple for the office. Multicolor changing. Yes, pineapple. you guys know us down here. We we appreciate you. What was the name on that now again? Chris Hauser. Chris, thank you, buddy. We appreciate it, and I hope. You don't get too many weenies sent to your Snapchat. Oh yeah. But you got a nice starter one from us. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely more of these, please. These are so good. Oh, high shoes are the best. High shoes are the best. All right. All right, this one's an international one, so yes. I always have good good expectations. Where's it coming from? You raise your hand the whole time while I was trying to open No, the it's like screen. a hubcap. Oh. It's like the center cap for the Civic. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's from Australia, so you know it's gonna be good. Yes, I love Australia. Long Whoa. as no. Wow. Let's see if I can not stutter through it. Hey, Jimmy. You will want to read this in your best Australian accent. God, I will not even try that. I will embarrass myself to the moon That's and end up wants. sounding like German and stuff. I don't know. Here, you do it. You're good at this. Oh, man. Hey, Jimmy. You will want to read this in your best Australian accent. Good day, Jimmy and fellas. Have been watching your channel for ages and love your shit. <laughs> and love your shit. Figure your speech. My young bloke son is eight years old and he suggested we send you some sub mail. All the way from down under, his name is Jake. That's a very Australian name. <laughs> is it? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. And he watches. E <laughs> <laughs> he watches each video. He reckons you are awesome, mate. Shout out to Jake. <laughs> Shout out Jake. In the box are a few number plates <laughs> from here. Some from New South Wales, Sydney, and some from Queensland, Brisbane. Also, I left some plate oh, frames on. As is one from an HSV dealer holding special vehicles, also part of Chevy, and there's a horrible section. And Jesus, was a uh, holding, you know, they look cool, but Chevy messed up by not bringing them here. That's why I hate them. Okay, fair enough. And was on a Holden VY Club Sport. They have an LS engine. Also in the box, a Peter Brock, a Brocky. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, keep going, keep going. Holden, <laughs> Holden Commodore model <laughs> that he raced in the iconic. Bathurst 1000 Mount Panorama, a beach ball to kick around the workshop, and a massive thong. I didn't realize you because like, Aussie. You said massive thong? Yeah, massive thong. Keep up the good shit, you bunch of mad dogs, Josh and Jake. That's amazing. That's amazing. I didn't realize that you could type so Australian. That I'm was so, so good. All right, let, let's check this out. All oh, right, so man. first off, we Here have you. a bunch of Australian plates, which I've I didn't realize that they were shaped like this. Crazy. Oh, Sunshine these are so stage. cool. Like the, f look how cool these are. Dude, look at, these are so sick. These are awesome. These oh, are the yellow so ones are dope. dope. Somebody explain in the comments to me why even if they're from the same place, they're different colors. <laughs> oh boy. We have a spin. Oh no. There we go. Oh, this is a real rally car. It's upside down. Oh, that's cool. Vegemite. Will you take a swig of this? You ever have Vegemite? No. Yeah. It's meant like everyone says put on your toast. Like, do you do anything other than put it on your toast? Like, no, he said, he said, he said, said spoonfuls. spoonfuls. Like, like, they eat them in spoonfuls. No, they don't eat these. That's what he said. Read the note. Oh, I don't like that. Let me see. Take a swig. You gotta take a swig. A swig? I'm not taking. I count my swigs. Hey, take, take a, a fingerful. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I did the same thing. I did the same thing. I'd rather eat more of the seaweed. Do it. No. They say it's amazing on toast, but we don't have any toast, so. Jesus Christ, right. it's your turn. I I'm not doing a lot, but I'm gonna try it. A little bit. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, okay, we've gotten Vegemite before, but I don't think we've ever tried it on toast. So one day, I'm gonna bring a toaster down, and we're all gonna sit down and enjoy that on some actual toast. <laughs> yeah, <just like>, yeah. <laughs> Sucker. Oh. oh! This is a thong? It's a pool floaty. Oh, give me that. Oh, no, it's a flip-flop. That's what we call them. But it's oh, I thought it was like an inflatable. See, flight. we call those flip flops here. I guess they're not really their thong. I thought maybe he was gonna send like the beat, the actual beach things. I thought I was about to be looking like a snack. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. Yes. Yes, I can't wait to chuck this at Brian when he comes in later. I do love Australia. You guys are the best. Yeah. This is so cool. This is definitely supposed to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this sub mail session has been an absolute banger. I've loved every second of it. So we're going to leave it off with a bang. And this is a package, something I was not expecting, but this is from a company that I've been following on Instagram for a long time now. And uh, looks like it's kind of a care package. Okay. Uh, from Arrow Wolf. You ever seen Arrow Wolf stuff before? That is a cool name. It's a cool I've name. Never heard of it. So cool name. let's open up the box and see what they sent us. Oh, he's in a license plate. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. All right, here we go. What do we got? Oregon. I've never seen that before. Uh, somebody sent us an Oregon one already, so you've definitely seen it. Oh, I, I'm, a, I'm a liar. <laughs> I lied to thousands of people. Here we go. We got a note, and it's all dressed up, and I like that. Oh my god, wow. I see oh you. God. Yo, been a fan of the channel for a while and know you appreciate Ganondorf. Oh, no way, that's actually really cool. Uh, they can work on a stock R and S chassis mirror and more with some heat gun love. Included a pile of shirts because you've got a good squad. It's awesome. However, if you need anything else, Airwolf. USA, Portland, Oregon. I like the style behind this. Oregon is a cool state. So Arrowwolf makes some pretty cool stuff where they actually makes these like little visors, these right here for like Ganondor mirrors. And I think like everyone has a pair of these on their Ganondors. It's like really turned into a trend and I think they're really cool. DJ, I think DJ has them on Yeah, DJ side. has them on his Sylvia outside and he makes them in a bunch of different, oh, yep, a bunch of different colors. So these are black. And then he hit me with the red ones. Oh, they're just so cool. So looks like Mike's these actually go on the mirror. Oh, where's the Ganondor? Let's go over here. So, check it out. These just kind of go in there like that, and it's just a nice little piece and a you know piece of arrow. Oh, that's cool on there too. Right? Isn't that cool? It fits so nicely, and it's just like a little style piece. And I know he makes a lot of stuff like in arts and everything like that for like side splitters and stuff. And it just honestly just has really cool styling. What else is in there? And I don't like like look at the red. Like look how dope that would look on the black. Like on my Sylvia ones, it's all done in black. Mm. Oh, dude, he sent four sets. That's so awesome. Yeah, check out this keychain. That's so dope. I'm so pumped he sent so many of these. Looks like I need more sets of Ganondors because I... <laughs> <laughs> you wanted an office full of them, didn't you? <laughs> That's oh. such a cool design. Yeah, dude, look at that. Yes, Candy. That's so cool. Hooked us up. Yo, he sent one for everyone. Damn. That's, That's so a cool, cool design too. Look at that helmet. I know. It. This is awesome. Well, dang. He <laughs> wasn't kidding. Like one day next week, we're all going to accidentally show up and be like, no, well, I'm not changing. It's like yeah. that Spider-Man meme, everyone's pointing at each other. <laughs> I love Safety this. First. This is so cool. That's awesome. Uh, we appreciate it so much. It's really cool. I wanted a set of those little visors for so long now, and honestly, free stick t-shirts are always the best. These are so. awesome. Hell yeah. There it is. Um, honestly, huge thank you to everyone who sent us some today. You guys are always super thoughtful, and we appreciate everything. If you guys want to be a part of Submail, uh, PO Box, always in the description. Uh, send anything you want, something cool, something creative, something useful, something gross that Mike can eat or RJ can eat it because he'll probably, he probably will eat it. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> or even just send us a license plate. So with that, I think we're going to end it today. <laughs> oh! Yes! <laughs> yes! All day yes! for that. Like, yeah. comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm cold hearted and broke. I cold started and choke. I grow part with my soul. The vote harder to grow. I know what. Hey. I know what. Hey. Yeah. I'm cold hearted and broke. I cold started and choke. I grow part with my soul. The vote harder to grow. I know what.